everyone, it's Brittany Baylin, and today I thought I would review all of the Lush products I own and kind of name my favorites and least favorites. I'm gonna try to get through this through through gonna try to get through this quickly. And <laughs> also, uh, ignore the mess in the background. I didn't feel like making my bed today, uh, so it is a hot mess right now and I originally started making my bed every day because somebody watching my videos, actually a lot of somebody's, said that how can you take advice from me if I'm such a messy person and little do you know my room is always a mess in my videos, my bed is just the only thing I make and I didn't feel like doing it. And now into the review, I will start with the stuff on my desk. There's very few products from Lush that I hate. But they are pricey, so if I don't love something, I'm not going to repurchase it again, ever. Like, if I like it, I'm probably not going to repurchase it. But this is a uh, skin tint. It's a highlighter, and it just looks white. I talked about it in my last video called Feeling Lung... Why can't I talk today? It's called Feeling Younger Skin Tint, and it just appears very opal on the skin. I just use it as a highlight, and I love this. I would repurchase it again. This is the concealer color supplement foundation thing. Mine is in the darkest color, dark yellow, and as you can tell, I'm not really that dark, so the color range is not that good. It's very moisturizing. It's not very concealing. I would consider this more of like a BB cream or a moisturizer. I would not repurchase this again, but I will finish it up. I do like it. Next, I have dry skin. So, ooh, you're so sticky! Okay, ooh. <laughs> I got two fresh face masks, and these are face masks that don't have any preservatives in them, so they expire really quickly. I think they have like a range of eight different ones, at least at the Lush I go to. They have like um, a pretty good range, and these are two that are for dry skin. One is BB Seaweed, and the other one is Oat Fix. You have to keep these in the refrigerator or they will expire. And to keep it simple, BB Seaweed I find very moisturizing, it's refreshing on the face um, and it feels good when you have it on to the point to when it dries and you wash it off and your skin feels good. I would repurchase this one again. Oat Fix, uh, it kind of feels tingly on the skin, it doesn't really feel moisturizing, um, it's rather uncomfortable, it's not very pleasant, I would not repurchase this again. This smells way better though, this smells like oat milk, raisin cookies and BB Seaweed kind of smells like rose salt water. Yeah, it does. Next thing I have owned is this Art of Bathing, and it comes like this. I got this so I could try out a bunch of different bath bombs and bubble bars and all that stuff, and that way I didn't have to make a decision because there's so many different things. They kind of put, I guess, the most popular ones into it. My favorite bath bomb ever, and if you're going to start out, I was just getting this one, and I think it's called the Sex Bomb, and it has a little rose in it. It's just it's the best. It's my favorite. It's moisturizing. It smells good when you're in there. Um, I like the way it fizzes the best. I like the color it makes the best. I like the little surprises inside the best. So I would definitely get that one. Next, I will, I guess, just put photos because they are gone and used. There is the Avo Bath Bath Bomb. It's a lemongrass spa bath with fresh avocado, olive oil, and it makes your skin silky smooth. This one, it did make my skin smooth. It wasn't very exciting, if I remember right, and I wouldn't repurchase it again. The next is the Space Girl Bath Bomb, and it's a fruity, sweet, out-of-this-world experience, and I didn't like it because it has so much glitter on it. Literally, I had glitter on me for days, and I just don't like that personally, so I wouldn't give it another shot. I would not repurchase it. Uh, next one is Karma Bubble Bar. I don't actually remember you. So I guess I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Next is Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar, and I have not used that one yet. Let me know if anybody has used that one. Next is Butterball Bath Bomb, and I made the mistake of dipping my hair into the bath when this one was in. And this one is a very luxurious, um, moisturizing one. It's supposed to, it's like bathing in oil. So when I dipped my hair in, it was just very oily for a very long time. And I would repurchase it, but I would never dip my hair in the water when I have this bath bomb in. Next is Big Blue Bath Bomb, and I have to say, uh, this one is very beautiful when it erupts. It's blue, it makes the water a very beautiful color, but there is little chunks of seaweed in there and a whole lot of it. It literally feels like I'm in the ocean. It kind of smells like the ocean, but if you're into that kind of thing, 
Next is the Fizz Banger Bath Bomb. I didn't think it was that interesting. Um, and if I remember right, it was like I was bathing in pee. Because um, it's yellow. Ugh, I think it was that one. I wouldn't have purchased that. Next is Mar Ma Ma Bar Bubble Bar. I have not used this one. If you have, let me know if, if you like it. Next is the Comforter Bubble Bar. I love this one. This is my favorite bubble bar. It's just, it's really cute, girly. It smells fun. And I would repurchase that. Next is Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb. And this is another sparkle one. I am scared to use it, so I haven't used it yet. If you have tried Phoenix Rising, let me know. And that was everything in this box. Next, and this is kind of weird that I bought it, but it is called Lovely Jubblies. And it is a breast cream. Uh, I mainly got it because the girl's selling it to me. She had, uh, it looks like gauges. I've never had gauges, but um, if you have gauges and you stretch your ears out too far, it is like hard to ever close up again. And she said, it, she put it on and it tightened up the holes so much that she doesn't have holes anymore. So I thought if it could do that, then maybe it could affirm my whole body. So I just don't use this on my breasts. I use this everywhere because I want everywhere to be firm. And I, it kind of does feel firming. I have to, I, I might repurchase this. I just bought this one, so I haven't used that much, but I might repurchase that one. Next, I have Mask of Magnamenti. I think that's how you say it. And this one you don't have to keep in the refrigerator, and it is green, so it's fun to put on the face. I don't know why I think it's fun to put green stuff on my face, but it is super minty, obviously, and it's really refreshing on the face. I find it kind of like cleansing, slightly moisturizing. I love using this mask, honestly. I would repurchase this one again, too. And next is Sea Spray Hair Mist. And I bought this so if I do like messy hair, it can help make your hair look more beach messy, kind of. I thought I might pull it together. The only other thing I can say about this is I think it might be better for short hair, like very short hair. So if you're a guy, um, if you put this in and then blow dry your hair, I do really like the results. But I don't know if I would purchase again this for myself. And that is everything. I felt like I talked so much. But hopefully you found this interesting and helpful. And I would love to know down below. Please leave a comment on what is your favorite Lush product. And if it's something I haven't named, then definitely name it below so I could try it out. That is it. And thank you for watching my video. And I look forward to reading your comments later. And I will see you soon. Bye!